Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. This is short and sweet where I give you a nutritional tip and an exercise tip to keep you strong and healthy. Now today we're going to do something we don't do much of and that is stretching. We're going to work on those hamstrings because we sit too much and we don't stretch enough. All right, now those hamstrings help us stay nice and tall, keep those posture really nice and straight and help those backs. Real important to keep a nice healthy back. So I'm going to show you two different ways of doing a hamstring stretch. There's a lot of ways to do it. I'm going to show you two. So let's get going. All right, now the first one I'm going to show you is when we put our leg up on something. Now I'm going to use my little sofa here, but you can use something much lower, like a bench or even a book, okay? What we want to do is to make sure our hips stay squared, that is our headlights point in the same direction, okay? Now you can hold on to something if you need to, and you also want your feet and toes and heels in line with each other. All right, so we're going to hold Hold our abdominals in and we're just going to take up a leg and put it up on the stool or bench, whatever you have. All right. Now we're going to push those hips back. Push the hips back towards the where the wall and the ceiling meet behind you. All right. Now you're just going to go down as far as you can and you're going to start feeling a stretch right in here, right behind the thigh. Now, if you feel that stretch behind your knee, bend the knee a little bit. All right. And then you're just going to reach if you can just go down as far as you're able. All right. Now you want to hold this for about 20 to 30 seconds and you want to do it about three times, okay? And then we're going to change legs, of course. Abs are engaged. We're going to take that leg up. Toes and heels are all in a straight line. We're going to push the hips back towards the wall where the wall and the ceiling meet, and we're just going to lean forward. Now, you might want to do this on a chair. You can lean and hold on that chair, hold on to the arms of the chair, whatever works for you, but we're going to work stretching this back muscle back here. There's actually a couple back there. Okay, so that's one. Now, one more way we're going to do it. We're going to lay on the floor. All right, you're going to roll it down. Good. And you're going to bring one knee into the chest. Now I have my hands behind my thigh or my calf. Okay. Now I'm going to take a deep breath in and on the exhale, I'm going to bring that leg as close to me as I can. Now, again, I'm stretching back here. And if you feel this in the back of the knee, you can bend your knee a little bit. All right. So you're just going to stretch and hold again, 20 to 30 seconds. All right. Now, of course, we're going to roll over and come on back up on that. All right. Be careful of that back when you're getting up. Now, our nutritional tip today is about beans. You know, beans, beans, musical fruit, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> right, I know you've heard that before. Okay, so why do we want to eat beans? Because they're loaded with fiber, loaded with minerals and vitamins and irons, and they're inexpensive. Lots of protein. You know, the people, when they study the, the uh, centurions and people that live long, they all have one thing in common. They eat beans. All right, so make sure you get some in your food this week, all right? Now, you know why I do this. I do this to keep you healthy and strong. And I want to invite you to our new site called Vigor and Trim. It's a membership site for fitness and health for those of us over 50. So join us. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.